You have probably seen the labels popping up on everything from pasta to cookies to even beer. They advertise gluten-free foods, but is it health or just hype? What's so bad about gluten anyway? KXLY 4's Melissa Luck has the answer in tonight's Good Question. Walking through Spokane's main market, it practically smacks you in the face. Apparently, gluten must be a very bad thing because from pasta to cookies to ice cream and beer, products proudly proclaim their lack of it. Two years ago, it was really frustrating. Not many restaurants had gluten-free menus. Now you can find them all over the place. You, there were a couple niche places where you could find the gluten-free pasta or gluten-free this and that. You can go to the grocery outlet now and find gluten-free options there. I mean, it's way more common. Shallon Dawson is thankful for that. She's one of three million Americans suffering from celiac disease. Though thanks to the rise in gluten-free products, she's not suffering anymore. I'm not on any medications. I don't have rashes. I'm not anemic. So not being anemic means I can mountain bike, I can do yoga. I well, let's back up. What is gluten? Well, it's a binding agent found in rye, wheat, and barley, and in thousands of foods we eat every day. Shallon is an extreme case, a true celiac. But turns out a lot of us may have gluten insensitivity and not even know it. Reducing gluten from the diet or eliminating it from the diet can certainly help with a lot of different health issues. Dr. Shkree says gluten will most likely give you a stomach ache or other <clears throat> digestive issues. He says people giving their babies wheat products before the age of four months has led to more gluten insensitivity. He's testing for it more and more and it's alleviating all kinds of medical problems. I've had it help with people with migraine headaches. I've had it help you know, parents that come in and say, my kid has attention deficit disorder, we can eliminate uh, processed foods and, and sometimes gluten and that can improve. So should you go gluten free? Well, it depends. You can ask your doctor for a blood test or you can just try it for a few weeks and see how your body reacts. But Shallon will be the first to tell you it's not easy and in a lot of cases, it's not cheap. It's way more expensive if you're buying a lot of the specialty items, you know, like the, the gluten-free pasta and things like that. What I try to do is I try to find foods that are already gluten-free, beans and rice, corn tortillas, vegetables, meats. And if you want to or need to go gluten-free, Shallon is here to help. She started the blog Gluten-Free Spokane. She's done the legwork and found out which Spokane restaurants boast great gluten-free menus. She says the hype only means more products on the shelf and more people giving gluten-free a try. If people think, of, you know, oh, it's just a fad diet, but they want to try it and they eat gluten free for a while and it helps them, then why not do it? I know a lot of people that eat wheat free just because they can and they feel better because of it. With this good question, I'm Melissa Luck, KXOY4 HD News. Well, we would like to know what you are wondering about. Just send us your questions to goodquestion at kxly.com.